you know, are you on the same team as Keith tonight? Keith Duffy Ronan or not? No, no, Duster's not playing with us tonight. Duster's out with another team somewhere else. Right, so um, I, I just think, obviously, you're such a high achiever. Does the high achiever in you just want to beat Keith Duffy at all costs? Every time. Yes. Every time I step on the golf course, all I want to do, even if we're not in the same country, I just want to beat Duster on the golf course. Absolutely. And he has a nickname, Duster. I didn't Duster. know that. We didn't know that. No. We learn something every day. Yes. And um, you mentioned Brian McFadden. We saw the pictures that poor Brian, yes. who suffered a bee sting yeah. yesterday, massive allergic reaction. He was in hospital for it. But he's made it there today. Wow, Fair play to me. Such a trooper. So he's not looking yeah, like that today. <laughs> but Brian's love of golf outweighs um, his visuals and, and how he how he looks at any moment. He'd much rather be playing golf. No, he's an absolute trooper. I was speaking with him yesterday when he got stung, mm. and he was worried, and we were all worried for him. Um, but thank God he got medication, and he's fighting fit, and he, he looks great. He looks ah. great. He actually he looks like he's been down to the LM. You know, the, uh, to get the old lips done. You know, he's looks exactly, like he's had yeah. to. <laughs> Why did I feel like he was talking to me there? I went to cover my face. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Ronan, the Marrakeeting, you know, the charity and the foundation has been supporting so many men and women all over the country since 1998. So tell us how important, you know, the work that you guys do and the charity and the money raised, how will it help people? Well, we're not government funded, so, you know, it, it's all about getting out and doing events like the golf event uh, to raise money for the three mobile units. One of our units is, uh, is basically off the road now. Uh, it's so old. So we need to, to basically raise enough funds to get a third unit back on the road again. So tonight is, today and tonight is all about getting the third unit back up and running again. Um, it's been incredibly important what it's done over the last 20 years, the three units, uh, reaching places that don't have medical centers and so on. And also uh, educating people about cancer, because that's the big thing. You know, uh, early detection is your best chance of survival with this mm -hmm. disease. So well, that's what our units do. Basically, they, they allow people to talk to an oncology nurse um, teach them how to well, what check to look themselves. for, check themselves what to look for, how to look for it, and what to do if they find something. Yeah, amazing stuff. Very important because it yes. is about education yes. and educating yeah. each other as well. Yeah. Um, now, golfing is a pastime loved by retirees. <laughs> now, after your <laughs> son Jack's recent I know where she's going with this. in Love Island, he did he did say to everybody when we told Jim Owen, he was like, he said, "My dad, yeah, he's retired. We need confirmation. <laughs> is this true, Ronan? Have you retired?" Bless you. You, you, Una, you know well, I have not retired. <laughs> I, I'm working harder now than I ever have before, and I'm happy to do that. Um, I think what Jack meant, which is, uh, bless him, he was trying to say I'd retired from boys' yeah. Yes. Um But, you know, the tables have turned. We came through Heathrow Airport yesterday, and not one person asked for my autograph or photograph, <laughs> but he was asking for Jack's, which uh, is a little bit awkward. There's, yeah. there's nothing like the Gen Z's to make you feel ancient. Yeah, true. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Jack did say, obviously, we, we have to talk about, you know, Jack recently on Love Island, and he did say recently in an interview he'd love to do, you know, more reality TV and maybe something like the Kardashians, you know, keeping up with the Keatings. So can we expect... <laughs> Storm shaking her head. Can we expect to <laughs> no, see yourself and Storm in your PJs having your breakfast on television anytime? soon no no it's not nothing like that <laughs> Lizzie and Jack would love that yes they talk about it all the time but Ray and I are a little bit more reluctant mm. 